What up, YouTube? I hope y'all doing great on this Super Bowl Sunday. Before we get started, I want to send a quick shout out to all my student athletes who found out I have a YouTube page and subscribed to me. Thank you guys, it means a lot. But at the same time, go do your homework. I'm not playing. I know it's Sunday, you guys got school tomorrow. Go do your homework. But anyways, back into the video. So when we were out in Africa, we went on a few adventures um, to a few national parks there. And if you guys have seen some of my older videos, y'all have seen the Ngorogoro National Park one. But there were other couple trips that we did to Lake Manyara National Park and also uh, Terengire National Park. Both of these trips were amazing. I wish these videos that I make would, you know, show justice to all of the things that you see in Africa. But unfortunately, you, you really just gotta experience it for yourself you just gotta go so any you know African tourist things or tourist trip planning guys if you guys you know want to hook it up and give me a free trip you know I'm willing to go shoot a couple more videos you guys what? Oh. we're <laughs> in a national park how are you guys in feeling Africa. I'm so good I feel so good Africa! Woo! Oh, look, oh, they're right up close Ooh, and there's a oh baby. Oh my gosh. I need my camera. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you about recording videos? Sideways, always. Hurry. Oh. What the? <laughs> Move, people. So as you guys just seen, there are torrential downpours sometimes in Africa. And it's pretty crazy to see. The landscape is so massive that you look to your left and there's just torrential downpour going on. And then you look over to your right and it's bone dry. So one of the things I was super hyped about seeing after it rains, we were told by our tour guide that leopards love to be up in the trees, you know, just to dry off and relax. And another thing about leopards is they are extremely rare to spot. So my excitement was through the roof when I was the first one to actually spot a leopard. Our tour guide ended up telling me she was doing tours for 15 some odd years and maybe she's seen a leopard a handful of times. So to see one in a tree chilling was incredible and I was the one to spot it. I was like, yeah. The crazy thing is we ended up seeing four different leopards. Like seeing one is already incredible enough, but seeing four, that is insane. We out here in the hippo pools of Africa. <laughs> We saw hippos. I highly doubt the GoPro will catch this, but there are hippos in the pool. In the hippo pool. In the hippo pool. In, in Africa. Africa. Oh, look at the hippo. Is he gonna stop? All right, time to use the binoculars to take some pictures. There was a trick that I found out back in like high school and then I used it in college and then I realized, holy crap, I could do it here. If you use the camera on your cell phone, you can actually magnify it if you put it up to one of the lenses on a binocular or I learned it from a microscope. I used to take pictures through the microscopes of like little cells and things like that. We decided to do that same thing and some of our pictures actually turned out pretty good. You're looking at this and I'm like, man, you know, for a pretty crappy idea or for cameras that don't really zoom in that well, we actually got some pretty good pictures out of it. Now, if there were a few animals that I had to say we saw an insane amount of, it would have to be elephants and baboons. They have a lot of food or competition. They didn't get the... Last year, I saw one baboon kill the baby gazelle. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, look at these two little baboons back here playing. Oh, that one got a fucked yeah. up booty hole. Dang, man. Yeah, he do got a fit leg. Just like all the way to the ground. <laughs> got a joke. Can you not? <laughs> Just look at it. Trying to take a nice family video. He's waving with his ears like Dumbo. I knew it. 
See, look at he's getting beat. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I was flipping out when this elephant rolled up on us. I didn't know whether or not to pee my pants or square up to it. I was just like, oh, oh snap. And actually one of my classmates ended up taking the perfect pictures at the perfect times because you could just see me like, oh snap. Never in a million years would I have ever thought to see any of these animals in person. So it was such a blessing to go on this trip and experience the things that me and my classmates ended up, you know, getting a chance to experience. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap that thumbs up button. Subscribe, comment, share, do all that fun stuff. And tune in next week for another video. I'm not gonna promise that next week is going to be a Tanzania video. I do wanna start sharing some more of my life as updated as possible, but make sure to stay tuned. So I will see you guys then. It's your boy Juicebox signing out, man. Deuces!